Hello everyone. Welcome to our London series Chosen to Serve. The topic for today is go make a difference. There is an inspiring story. A boy and his grandfather were walking along the beach. The beach was covered with the starfish which were left by the outgoing tide. Every so often the grandfather would stop, pick up one of the starfish and throw it back into the ocean. After a while, the little boy said to his grandfather, "Grandpa, there are thousands of starfish on the beach. Throwing a few back into the ocean cannot possibly make a difference." The grandpa took another one and throws it into the ocean and said, "It makes a difference to that one." Yes. We are called to make a difference. I remember when I was assigned to St. Denis Church in Diamond Bar. I went to meet with my pastor. During our little conversation, he asked me, "Sebastian, if I take you, how are you going to make a difference in this parish?" I thought that was a great question. The Bible the Bible has recorded a number of call stories, call narratives, the call of Abraham, the call of Moses, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Peter, Paul and so forth. The call of Abraham is a prototype of every other call what did god say to abraham when he called him god said to abraham abraham i am going to bless you so that you must be a blessing to the nations in other words you are going to make a difference in the world and jesus said to his disciple the same thing in a different way Looking at his disciples Jesus said you are the light of the world let your light shine before others you and me we all have the same call the call to make a difference and we receive this call this occasion when we received a baptism If you remember any baptism ceremony there you see during that uh, beautiful sacrament the presider of the sacrament give to that child or the person a lighted candle and say receive the light of Christ keep it burning brightly in other words go make a difference in the world by your light I remember recently Pope Francis made this statement he said there is darkness everywhere but do not blame the darkness because you have the light use your light and dispel the darkness Cardinal Newman made a similar statement years ago he said You should not leave this world without leaving your footprint for the future generation to follow. In short, you and me, we all are called to make a difference. So the question is, how do we make a difference? Two things are important. First of all, if we want to make a difference in the world, we must be the difference. I must be the change that I want to see in the world today. A beautiful story is told about Gandhi. A mother came to Gandhi with the, her son and said, "Sir, I need your help." Gandhi asked her, "How can I help you?" She said, 
My son is suffering from diabetic, but he is addicted to sugar. He eats a lot of sugar. I told him not to do. He is not listening to me. Can you please help me? Gandhi told her, come after one month. After one month, she came to Gandhi with her son. Then Gandhi approached this little boy and very gently said, Son, eating too much sugar is not good for you. It will not heal you because you are diabetic. That's it. The mother was furious. She told Gandhi, You could have told him this month ago. Why did we wait until this day? Gandhi said, Mom, I'm sorry. I too have the same problem. I was eating too much candy and sugar. Before I tell this boy, I should see whether I could stop it in my life. That's the number one thing. If you and me want to make a difference in the world, we must become that difference. We must be that change. And secondly, if you want to make a difference in the world, then we need to look for opportunities to help and serve. Mother Teresa has a beautiful story to share with us. There was a woman living with the three children. They were very poor. They got nothing to eat. And Mother Teresa visited this family and offered them a bag of rice and some bread. You know what happened? As soon as she received the bag of rice and the bread, she took half of it. Rushly, she ran down to, to the street. A few minutes later, she came back. Mother Teresa was waiting for her there. Mother Teresa asked her, where did you go? She said, Mother, there is an elderly Muslim guy living in that street, very poor. He got nothing to eat for a week. I thought I will share some of my blessing with that guy. Mother Teresa said, in that lady, I have seen Jesus' face. So, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, if you and me want to make a change, a difference in the world, always look for opportunities and help. Remember what Mother Mary did. At the wedding feast of Cana, they were running out of wine. Probably everybody noticed that, but everybody ignored it. Only Mother Mary stepped in to change that situation. So we have begun this beautiful holy season of Lent. This is the time to think about and do something. You and me, we all are called to make a difference. If you and me, disciples of Jesus, are not taking that initiative, who will do that? God bless you. See you next week.